Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So I've recently noticed I've just gone past the 3,000 subscriber mark. So thank you all for that. New subscribers and old, thank you for kind of following on and showing your support. Now there is a competition coming up and for those of you who don't know how to enter, you just basically show support to the channel by liking, sharing and commenting on the videos and then you gain entries. Sharing gets you five entries, comments get you two and likes if you let me know you've done it gets you one. So just like, comment, share if you can and then you gain entries. Then when I do the competition, just basically enter by however mean, uh, however way I tell you to do it by kind of just saying enter on in the comments box and then you're in with a chance to win the awesome prizes I've got coming up. So thank you all massively for getting me past 3,000. Um, it's been a bit of a long road. Uh, when I started the channel, I didn't think I'd ever do anything, then it started to gain momentum. I thought, oh, I might be, you know, I might be 5,000 subscri 5, subscribers soon. But once you get to a certain point, it seems to get a little bit more difficult. It kind of comes in waves. But I'm getting there slowly, and to be quite honest with you, the awesome people that follow this channel, I'm quite happy with uh, the amazing feedback and support I get from everyone, so thank you all for that. And while we're talking about support, I want to give a shout out to a young American guy, Braden, from Old City Troy, Old Troy City Reptiles. Um, his dad's told me on uh, messages once or twice that they sit down with the family to watch my videos, which I think is amazing. Family time is the most important time for people like me. So for, to hear about a family kind of sit, sitting down as a family, like my family do when we watch movies and stuff, and watching my videos, I, it just kind of blew me away. So I've talked to his dad, his dad's a real cool guy, uh, good hard worker, and I've seen Braden on, the, uh, on some of the videos, he's getting involved with the snakes, so he'll be, obviously he'll take the, um, he'll be the captain of the ship there one day, which is really, really cool. So thanks for supporting my channel. And a goodie bag's coming to you very soon. I'm just getting these new t-shirts made. Your dad told me you're a large. I've seen you on videos, you're not a large. Uh, your, dad's, your dad's a large guy, big guy, but I'm a large and, and you're way smaller than me. I eat too much chocolate though. I love chocolate, thank you. Anyway, so now I wanna pull a clutch. This was filmed about 15 days ago when I was just getting used to the new phone. So it is a little bit sketchy, but all my videos are. Uh, we kind of we, we, we've got past the sketchy bit for now. So this clutch is a pretty cool one. It's a pastel leopard clown to a pastel spot nose clown for some more Batman combos. But also later on in the season, I put in the banana cinnamon clown male because my kind of what I wanted to make kind of changed. And both me and my good friend over at Balls Out Ball Pythons hatched uh, banana cinnamon clowns and I know he loves his just like I love mine. It's just a, just an amazing combo. And I love what Justin Cabelga is doing with banana and coral glow into clown. He's really uh, opening our eyes just how amazing this gene is. So I'm really hoping the banana cinnamon clown got the clutch because the banana cinnamon leopard clown would be sick as. So I hope I get that, but let's just wait and see. So I'm gonna pull this, vi uh, gonna pull this video, I'm not gonna pull a video, I'm gonna pull a clutch. And then I'm going to show you a little, um, a little two pickups. They're only kind of low key, but quality in, quality out, quality breeds, quality in all the same we all hear of nowadays. Um, I just kind of listened to my mates, uh, Darren and Eric from Neighbours Constrictors. And Darren was like, you yeah, know, you should probably keep this. It's actually really, really cool. So the story behind it, I'll go into it when I'm showing you, but, um, yeah, so that, that's basically it. And then I've got a new range of t-shirts coming out. I'm sweating bullets, I'm so hot. But I've got these new t-shirts, I bought this one, it's a bit too big, but I'm just kind of getting used to the sizes. And they're gonna be available, the first lot's gonna be available at the IHS show. I wish I could talk. The IHS show at Doncaster next month. Gonna have some cool animals there. And this time next week, I'm cutting an absolute amazing clutch. So I'll talk about that next week. So let's check out, what should we do first? Let's check out this clutch and then let's look at these snakes. Cheers. Cheers. So a few people have recently asked if I still use the no light diffuser method. I do, basically. So because I put 300 grams of vermiculite in the, um, in the tubs, I only have to put 300 grams of water. 
doesn't look a lot. You gotta go careful with these skills to take a second. So I just don't know, I've got it over a little bit once or twice. But I just evened it out with a bit more for me to that. So that's 295. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to get it damn near perfect. Do you know what? I'll just give it a short more. So it's settled at 299 grams, so that's absolutely fine. So now, well, it's now perfectly settled at 300. Give it a sec, yeah, so. So we can take them away, just mix it in. It's as simple as that. So with tub ready, uh, pull the secret white tub out. So this is a pastel leopard clown bred to a pastel spot nose clown and also a banana. Uh, whoops. And also a banana cinnamon pound. So you can see it's completely concaved in. She is definitely done laying. She look how super concave. This is why it's so incredibly important that you have good weight on the females. Look at that. It's just incredible just how much body weight they shed. So not the uh, not the most amazing uh, amount of eggs but it's all good. So, so now she, she's getting a bit now I think so you've got to watch yourself at this point. So that's just a slug. This goes straight in the bin. It's uh, no use to anyone. Just gonna pop her back because I'm trying to stress her out as little as possible. But now it's time for her to have a bath and um, get these back in view. So it's time for us to have a bath, get properly washed and, um, and settled. So, because I've rotated these eggs, I'm going to candle them. I may as well candle them on the camera. It's not the darkest of rooms, but it's okay. So you may notice I rotated this one simply because it looks like it belonged that way. So, that's a boo bag, but it's got Plenty of veins, so I think that'll do just fine. And then, so I'm not liking the orientation of this egg. The others I think are okay, but let's take a closer look. It could do with being a bit darker in there. There's the embryo. So slight rotation, but not a lot. And I think that'll do. Maybe rotate this one a little bit. Now, some people believe that the embryos in the first uh, couple of hours will naturally uh, float to the top. Uh, while I've, I've got a perfect opportunity to rotate, I rotate them. If the eggs are laid and really well stuck together, then I, there's no re real reason to rotate them, and I don't. So, 58 days cooking low and slow, just like a top chef cooking. Uh, a firmer piece of meat, let's say. So 58 days and we'll see what we've got. Cheers guys. So into the incubator they go. So I've currently got three eggs incubating, sorry, three clutches incubating. So that's the clutch we've just done. This is an orange dream calico fire clutch bred to super orange dream yellow belly disco. And this is a superfly clown bred to a GHI lesser yellow belly head clown. So three pretty cool clutches. Uh, these may be my most anticipated of the year. So I'm really looking forward. Uh, I know there's no writing on them, but I've got a good memory and I'm, um, I do remember them. I just haven't got around to writing it. This clutch is due in about 18 days, so I'm maybe about 20 days. So I'm super excited. So this is the first snake I wanted to show you. It's just an NG Hypo or an NG Orange Ghost. But it's just an outstanding one. 
So Enchi makes everything better and because I'm so in love with Hypo or Orange Ghost combinations and certainly in Clown. Uh, when we was driving back Darren from Neighbours Constrictors was saying uh, I'd keep this female if I were you because the plan was to buy this and a few other snakes and put them into my shop uh, because I know some breeders and stuff over there where they can cut me some slack on the price and I can, I can send some beautiful snakes to pet homes and other breeders that shop at my shop, Ocean Cars and Reptiles. But Darren was having a look at this and he said, do you know what, this quality is so good, I'd keep this. And I thought, do you know what, you're absolutely right. So I've decided to keep her. Now the plan for, for this is grow her up and once she's ready, put an awesome clown combo to her or, or, or hypo clown combos. Because I've got hypo clowns and I'm doing a lot with hypo clowns, I thought by the time she's ready, I'll hopefully have a nice little army of hypo clown combos and I can put it to her, adding Enchi to the mix and making some visual hypos with this quality 100% head for clown. So it's kind of thinking quite far forward but on the sidelines of another project. So she's got nothing to do with clown but she'll be part of my clown project. So when you're making your plans, sometimes you've got to think on the sidelines when you're, when you're dealing with double recessive and think about other ways you can incorporate and instead of making double heads, make some visual hypo clown combos that are 100% head clown. So I just thought I'd show her off. I had no real plan to show off, but she's that stunning. I thought, Do you know what, I might as well. What a beautiful little girl. And then staying with the hypo or orange ghost theme, We've got a black pastel, cinnamon, ghost, or orange ghost, hypo, that's possible blackhead. Now at first I looked at this male and I thought it's not blackhead. I would have expected it to look quite different. But I've googled black pastel cinnamons and they're looking out like this, and black pastel cinnamon ghosts and looking out now like this. So maybe it does have um, black, uh, blackhead but I'm not convinced it does. It wouldn't surprise me if it didn't. But a cool little male, sort of like the darker side of, of, of combos. And I just thought this could go to a clown combo and a clown pied combo and just make some cool future double head, triple heads and things like that. So one day if I'm wanting to add black pastel, and cinnamon or either or to my hypo clowns. This is a male that could obviously help do that, create some visual hypos that 100% have a clown. So yet again, just thinking on the sidelines of my clown projects. But I just I just took Darren's kind of, took what he was saying and thought, yeah, do you know what, it's actually really cool. And the sort of like colors down the neck, it's almost like a titanium blue and it just goes lighter and lighter until it blushes out into this cool silver. So just two little cool pickups, but they don't have to be clown pies and things like that for me to really love and appreciate them. Uh, and I know a few of you have asked for a little update on the clown pie, so I'll just show her next. But I just appreciate quality and I just really respect the guy who made these because he made some quality animals. So here she is, she's considerably larger than the last two, obviously. She's got some little, I'm just gonna zoom out actually a little bit. Give a bit more space for me to maneuver her about. So a pastel leopard clown pied, really cool. And the best bit about her, so for all you newcomers to the channel, if I can really gently get her better on the other side. A little bit, yeah, there you go. So she always has this angry look on her face because of the black markings that are almost like eyebrows. She always looks a little bit upset, which is cool. So she's doing well. I'll, Let's take, let's see how much she weighs. I haven't got a, a tub, so we'll just get her balled up. But I'll give her a rough one. So she's, keep it, it's in. 988 grams. God, I didn't think she was that heavy. Wow, she's doing really well. <laughs> That's actually surprised me. Oh, so, 1,000 grams. She's looking stunning. Her wanks are so crisp. I hope it's kind of showing, which I think it probably will be with this new camera. Um, or new phone, should I say. But yeah.
she's going to do some amazing things uh, once she gets breeding. Hopefully not this season, but next. So a nice little update for you guys. And me. So guys, that's all I've got time for, for today. So thank you all, both new and old subscribers. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. I've got a really cool clutch uh, coming uh, in, in approximately a week. So this time next week, hopefully I'm sharing an amazing cutting video with you. It was a super fly clown bred to a pastel, no, super fly clown bred to a GHI lesser yellow belly heck clown. So some potential amazing offspring in that. I'm really praying for plenty of visuals. So hopefully this time next week, I'll get to show you that clutch. And I'll see you, if I don't see you before, on Tuesday. Tune in Tuesday. Cheers, guys.